This is Australia. This, this is really Australia. Cold. My dick is a freezing. My balls it went through my skin. <laughs> So What's up, y'all? We Jungle Beats. Charlie's plugged to the best music and hip hop in the world. We review, react to music. Now, Travis Scott released a new track called Watch, featuring two artists. I'm not gonna tell you who they are. We're gonna get right into it. You ready? I'm Alexander Man. Oh yeah, I'm Alexander. Say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get into it, man. I'm, I'm hyped. I'm gonna guess these features correctly. And you're gonna be like, whoa, who's the fucking prophet down sitting in the chair? It's me. Let's go. That was an extremely average song. The production was a bit messy. The, uh, the production wasn't good at all. There was so much all. going on. The drums were a bit... I mean, I get the drums meant to be real loud because of the trap. Like, there was the drums, the bass, and there was like three to four to five different sounds going in the background that just sort of clashed against each other. The, only, right, time, the only time I liked the production is when the drums were stripped back. Because I could be like, I like the... the doo -doo -doo -doo. That's um, surprising for... To hear Travis and Kanye on that type of production. Mm. It didn't work. It was a Travis yeah. song. It wasn't a Kanye song. In order for Kanye to work on that song, he would have had to grab that beat and be like, cool, let me just shape this more to how I'd sound better on it. Because he had a good verse on there, but it, it didn't matter because the production, he just sounded really weird on it. Although I did like, I don't know if to say this, but I, I like the cadence of Lil Uzi, Uzi's flow at the start. <laughs> I didn't even realize he was on here. I thought yeah. that was Travis the whole time. No, that was Uzi. So I like the cadence of Uzi's verse. Um, besides that, I don't too care f much for that type of rap, but... Um, Travis came in, dropped something average. Kanye started off okay, but got better as he as he kept flowing. How did Kanye listen to this and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, this will be the track I drop a verse on for you? Like, Man, I just think for him, it's like teaming up with Lou Uzi Travis and himself is just like an iconic moment for him. You know, Lou Uzi, the place he has in um, trap music right now is pretty big. Yeah... I, know, I wasn't feeling this. Like I said, the production was messy. Travis bored me. Didn't even know Uzi was on the track and he bored me. Yeah. Please. Kanye's verse was the highlight, but it wasn't even that good because it didn't boot suit the beat. So I didn't really like anything about this track. I think it was... Travis once again disappointed me. I thought Birds of the Trap was a terrible album. I know you disagree. I know you liked it. I did. Uh, Rodeo was awesome. He hasn't released anything good since then. So. Well, ho hopefully Astro World is... Uh... Is nothing is not like this. Yeah. Well, minus goosebumps, of course. There were there were some good songs on birds, but that the album as a total was just a rush mess. But uh, yeah, I hope he surprised me because he he's a really talented producer. He's very talented with his vocals, but not right here. That's all I got to say. Great way to finish. Jungle Beats, man. Shows plugs the best hip hop music in the world. Thanks for fucking with us. Fuck hit, with me. Hit the subscribe button so you stay tuned to the next music we hit review. It. Ooh, girl, with this camera on, they can't see us Tossing a little more dank and a little more drink than the flame might need Tell the Wednesday with the candy top Fuck around, make the Latinas pop mm. It's a new world order mm. Never had my head on my shoulders